Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on a crazy, crazy day that I cannot believe is actually happening. A couple of weeks ago, a car came up for sale, one of my favourite cars and a particular one with quite a story. Now I've been a bit coy about this, we've been going backwards and forwards trying to see if we could make it work and I'm pleased to say that I have done it. An hour ago, I was in the bank making a payment to Germany to buy my dream car. Now today I'm going to be jumping on board the G63 for quite an adventure. I'm going to be heading over to Germany to meet up with Turbo Transport, whose trailer is currently there. There's a bit of a story there too. We will hook it up to the back of the G, continue to Munich, and then tomorrow I'm going to be collecting the new Schmiemobile. There's a lot to tell you. I will give you some clues in this video as to exactly what it is going to be, but I'm bursting with excitement. It is a car I've been wanting to add to the collection for a long, long time, and this is the one. It is happening. Today is going to be a long one. It is already lunchtime, but the payments are gone. It is time to get on the roads in the G63 to head over to Germany. The timing of all of this is also unreal. Right at the same time that my channel is reaching two million subscribers. I still can't believe I'm saying that, but a huge thanks to all of you guys, the squad, for being part of this adventure. Now you might be wondering, why am I buying a car from Germany? A car that was originally delivered in Germany, is currently owned and registered in Germany, and of course that means one that is left-hand drive. Here in the UK, right-hand drive is the norm, as all of my cars are, with the exception of the Ford G. T, given it's an American car, they only made them with the steering wheel on the left-hand side. But in the case of this car, the vast majority of the miles I've done with it were in the USA or driving around Europe, in Italy, in Monaco, in Germany, etc. So that's turned out to work pretty well, as will the plans that I have with the new one. Now, one thing that I have in common between all of the cars here is that I was lucky enough to purchase them new. I was lucky enough to go through the specifications, to take delivery, and to drive them from basically zero miles. The new car is one that is a little bit older. It came out before I was in the position to do so, so it's going to be going through, well, a few changes to make it exactly how I want. More clues to come on that later on as well, but it will be joining the likes of the Senna, the Ford GT, the Aston GT8, the Heritage RS, and the 675 LT Spider in what I call my permanent car collection. It is one that is truly special, and I'm going to be keeping a hold of it. Some of the others will last, of course, in the collection for a couple of years, the G63, the GT8, are pro, but I don't think they'll necessarily stay forever. We will see as time goes by. I do need to tell you a little bit more though, why we are not meeting up with Tony from Turbo Transport here in the UK as we had actually originally planned. Well, unfortunately, a couple of days ago in Germany, outside of Frankfurt as it happens, where my base in Germany is, his pickup that pulled the trailer kind of went bang and broke down. That means his trailer is stranded in Germany, fortunately empty at the moment. So I'm going to be going over with the G about 10 hours to get there to meet up with Tony to collect the trailer to continue the adventure. It's kind of worked out conveniently given the disastrous situation. So we need to hop on board then, get the journey started. The car is loaded up, the spare plate as well. Uh, for the new number plate that we got on the car, I had to make sure I got the matching plate for the trailer. And yeah, crack on with the drive ahead. A day I can't believe is here, but it is. We're heading to Germany to collect my dream car. Before I go, I do need to cover all of the others back up. So I will do that very quickly and then we'll get on board and get this started. Everything is now tucked away then. It is crazy to think we'll be back here in a couple of days with the new one. Today, I'm gonna to be driving over. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be collecting the new car. The next day, I will be bringing it back to the garage. Then it will go through the test to get it UK registered. And then we're gonna get started straight away with some of the changes to come. For the time being though, let's come around here to hop on board the G63 to get this drive started. And I'll start to give you a few clues as to what is coming later on today. For the moment though, let's press the button, bring this into life. Oh yes, there we go. It is time. I'm excited right now, even though it's probably going to be about 18 hours from here to the dealership. Let's do this. 
the weather for this journey is forecast to be utter garbage the entire way. It is starting raining here in London and it is forecast to be raining the entire way throughout this whole journey and it is going to be a long old slog. It is about two hours to get to the Euro Tunnel, then we cross under the English Channel to France, a short drive through France all the way across Belgium, a couple of hours into Germany to Frankfurt where Tony is currently waiting at a hotel. So he's got to wait about 10 hours until I get there, then we'll drive to where his trailer is, he will take the wheel after we've hooked it all up and are ready to continue and then we will get I think tonight you'll have to wait and see if we get there to Stuttgart where we'll be able to stay potentially at the motor world with only about two more hours to go tomorrow to Munich to collect the car which will of course be a separate video so do stay tuned because I would love to show you what this is going to be in fact a little bit later on I will show you the number plate that is going to go onto it I think that'd be quite fun you might be able to guess uh, and have a little bit of a think from that what it might be but for the time being London, yeah, being London, a lot of traffic on the way out of town, I expect, and um, probably not the swiftest of journeys and not the driest of journeys either. But you can imagine inside, I am like this screaming with excitement kid at Christmas because this is quite a new one for me, an older car, a car that you now is slightly, slightly retro, but very, very cool. And uh, somehow, when this hits me and it becomes reality, this is happening. We will get there before too long and all will become clear and you will see what I'm quite so excited about. In the meantime, we have stop start. This will be quite a peaceful drive doing well, it's going to do about 2000 miles in this in this trip in the G63. This is exactly what it's for though. This is why I got this car to lug cars across Europe in a trailer and that's what we're doing. That's just kind of become a realization itself. That is exactly using this as intended. Game on. <laughs> Good news! Uneventful journey other than the weather and we're now at the Euro Tunnel. That means hopefully getting the first crossing. As always I have a Flexi Plus ticket which means I can literally go straight through, get the first train out of here, grab some snacks along the way and get straight over towards France. The slightly bad news is that for some reason I have a tyre warning light. Now I've kept my eyes on this uh, pretty rigorously throughout the journey. It is running just ever so slightly on the rear right below what it should be. So I'm hoping that's not really a problem, it's just because the car has been sat for the last couple of weeks and it needs a small inflation. So as soon as I get to a fuel station, obviously I will get that done and make sure that they're inflated properly. For the time being, I am here now at the Euro Tunnel. There's a police car on the arrival. I guess to make sure that nobody is speeding through this section and we will go straight on through and um, get all of this done. Hopefully get a quick train, get straight on over and now it starts to become even more real. This is happening. The weather here is absolutely horrendous, but inside the boot of the car, we have the new plates. So let me quickly show you these. And of course, I just put the SH63 MEE plate on the G63, the ideal matching plate for this car. But inside here, to show you quickly, that is the new one, SH62 MEE. I'm just gonna leave you with that to make of it what you will, but this suits the new car perfectly and will look very nice alongside this one as well. For the moment though, like I said, it is far too cold here. Let's hop back on board to go and get on board the train itself. Oh, so cold right now. He says, I've got my ventilated seats on. We actually want heated seats. Oh, you can have both at the same time. We will actually just go with the uh, with the heated seats for the moment. And you can see what's going on with the tire pressures. I am uh, gonna have to deal with that as soon as I get to the other side. Right, time to warm up, go that away to go find the train. And it is time to board the train. I seem to have been doing this quite a lot recently. I am the first person on actually, so all the way to the far end, which will certainly help getting off very quickly at the other end. Although it is gonna be a very, very late night ahead of me. While I've been waiting for the train, I've just actually booked a hotel tonight. I've saved that until this last minute. It is currently half past four here in the UK, half past five in Germany. I'm not gonna get there until, well, maybe meet up with Tony just after midnight, get to the hotel, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., something like that. Um, quick sleep and then off again in the morning. But hey, with this level of excitement, and I think for Tony doing something adventurous after the fact that he's been kind of stranded with all of this, hopefully it's something a little bit more exciting than otherwise. In any case, bring on getting there. Um, hopefully this is a, a quick crossing, reply to a few emails, that kind of stuff, then get into France for about half an hour, 40 minutes, then across to Belgium, 
and then onto the German autobahns for a brief stretch before getting the trailer hooked up to the back of this. This is gonna be a really, 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 really long old drive. I mean, I've done long drives across Europe many times, but I'm quite tired because last night, obviously I was preparing for this without really knowing what was gonna happen today. Literally this morning, I woke up to arrange the payments, to go to the banks, to get all the documents signed, to make sure that this was gonna happen. It has been a bit of a blur in the background. Um, obviously, I've wanted this for a very long time and I will explain a little bit more about it and in fact the very car that is about to become a Schmimobile has been on this channel before about six years ago that's crazy to say and six years ago I had actually just bought my McLaren 12c and well one of these would have been a, uh, a distant dream at the time uh, so it's a little bit crazy that it's now kind of kind of happening um, anyway, like I said, when we do cross, it's about half an hour crossing to get under the tunnel, uh, under the sea, the channel to uh, France, I do have about six hours to go. I think it's maybe five and a half to Frankfurt, so long slog ahead. And I appreciate that this is being really, really vague and mysterious, but I think you're going to enjoy this one as much as I do. And, well, hopefully it's going to be coming tomorrow. And hopefully my next upload is going to be the collection day. Like I said, first on and first off into France. Cool thing about this car, obviously, I've changed the uh, speedo to be in kilometres and I've changed the time plus an hour. But the car also, I sound as the doors lock, has the ability to change which side of the headlights has dipped, which is really cool about modern cars. I'm obviously going to have to change the lights of the cars I'm buying to be the other way around. That's something that's going to be done as part of the import process. Anyway, we're on the roads. It says, I think, just shy five uh, just shy of six hours just over five to get there came on it's been a pretty smooth drive through Belgium through the Netherlands and now in Germany on the de-restricted autobahns which means we have an opportunity to stretch the legs of this thing at the end of the day this is a 700 and something horsepower G63 with a Kravich exhaust system so let's pop it into individual mode drop some gears <laughs> foot down this quickly. It's absurd. A few trucks on the road actually are going to go towards the left lane. But yes, uh, we've got a big corner and it's a lot of weight so let's slow it down a notch. But each and every time this car's just silly. It's just a riot to drive. You're booming past that coach. I don't know what people must think when something of this kind of size and weight goes past making that much noise. And to be honest, I am very conscious when you do go past cars that because of how big this thing is, it is a gigantic kind of impact in the air, in the wind going past other vehicles. I also think the headlights are really cool, the way they kind of filter and zoom across and show you different things. Quite hard probably to see on the camera, but very cool to actually watch with your eyes. Way they automatically brighten up everything as much as possible. And yeah, we're just chilling it near on 200 kilometers an hour. Oh, we've got a speed limited section. Oh well, more downshifts then. I suspect it's going to be a much more gentle continuation of this journey though, just a short little bit of fun. And yeah, knocking off some time, catching up with Tony. And made it! Step one of today's journey complete. Gosh, that was a long drive. About nine hours now since I left London uh, earlier today. Car is much dirtier than it was, and we have found Mr. Turbo Transport. Tony, how you doing? Very fair. You very look well, exhausted. Well, yeah. You've been dealing um, with a ton of stuff, which is, I've explained a bit already to everyone. Time to relax. Time We're gonna pick relax. up the trailer. Yes. We've got about 40 minutes from here to where your trailer is and then about another two hours to where we're staying tonight. And I'm going to be doing the driving. And you're driving. Uh, you've, done um, a, you've done enough. Yeah, I'm nine hours in. I'm nine <laughs> hours in, but this thing is a beast. Right, I'm going to pop inside for a quick pit stop before we get back on the road. Of course. Give me a second and then we will continue. All right, passenger seat time. He says climbing up into the G. Of course, it is uh, very dark out here where we are right now. Kick it into life. Door. And without a trailer on the back. Yeah. At the moment. So, mm -hmm. autobahns, etc, etc. It's good fun. No, I'm taking it easy because the weather is atrocious today. It's been a day of rain, 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 rain. But yeah, almost, what is it, 42 minutes? Yep. Half past 12 at night. Whew. Here we go. That is the dealer uh, where Tony's Ranger is currently to be fixed up. And then around the corner, 
uh, we're gonna stumble into a trailer. I can see the trailer! So this is super, super, super random in a line of kind of caravans and trailers. We find a turbo transport trailer. Good to see it back again, Tony. Yep, good to see it. And uh, we're gonna have to work out how to do this, which is gonna be interesting at the front because we can't park right there. Where there's a will, there's a way. Definitely. And with the help of a light, um, hopefully this can go in. Does it go in? Yes, magic. 63 MEE on turbo transports trailer. This would be very confusing to somebody who randomly happened to see it. Yes. <laughs> right, okay, that's set up. We've got everything kind of transferred across. The G63 now has extended mirrors, given that we're driving over here in Europe. In the UK, you don't actually need them with a car this wide, but here you do. So extended mirrors installed, the camera system as well for the back of the trailer. Then we need to get it hooked up. And um, yeah, we're basically gonna be ready to rock and roll with this. I um, need to take off the, uh, the cover. Maybe I'll do that when I'm not holding a video camera. And oh, oh thank you, Tony. Ooh. Got it a bit stuck on. A bit stuck on. There we go, got it. We'll pop that away. Put that away. And then, um, yeah, continue. And just like that, we are on the road. We have the trailer behind us. The G is back again being the towing machine. It feels natural, doesn't it? My poor Ranger. Oh, hopefully, hopefully. See you soon. soon to be seen back in action. For now, though, the G is the towing wagon. It is very dark and we have about an hour and a half now to go to the next stop. Recalculating, but we've worked out where we're going, yeah. so. Onwards. This is what it's like when you're living life in the slow lane and everything can go straight past you, but we are passing trucks. Oh, oh, that was a bit of a bump on the ground. Stuff in the, uh, in the boot back there. Um, but yes, this is quite a gentle, chilled out journey compared to the pace of earlier. You can't really see all that much, but this is basically the home of Mercedes-Benz in Sindelfingen, just outside of Stuttgart. We're going to the motor world over that away, but this is where, say, my AMG GTR, it was assembled uh, right here. Um, we're going towards our hotel, your good left or clear, uh, which is just kind of up this away. But basically, this is a convenient stop point on the way towards Munich this evening, which is why I've chosen it. It's also a great venue where we will kick off tomorrow morning with loads of dealers, Ferrari, McLaren, uh, Lamborghini, Bugatti are here, Bentley are here, classic cars are here, storage is here. We go past the Ferrari Maserati showroom, which is filled with, well, we can see a yellow, uh, is that a speciale? speciale? Yeah, yellow speciale, yeah. 458, but another speciale. Yes, nice cars, Harley Davidson are here as well. And uh, we go around to the right just this way. Oh, there's the Porsche dealer just up in front of us too. And yes, this is the Motor World, which is a really, really cool venue. All right, inside here, uh, there's a car in there I'm going to show you guys tomorrow morning, I think. Then we've got a line of Lambos, Hurricane Spider, Hurricane, I can see an Urus. Um, obviously, we're here kind of late at night, so I can see two Uruses, Bentayga, all that jazz. And then uh, some storage units here, which normally have really interesting cars in GT3 RS. LaFerrari, there was a LaFerrari we just went past. Um, yes, really interesting, clearly. Lots of Very much. <laughs> yeah. Bentley, 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 and Bentley. Yeah, exactly, exactly the ticket. Now this is Lambo Land. Is that dark purple? Yeah, Hurricane Evos. Kind of dark. Aventador S. Another Aventador S. Oh, that's the new uh, rear-wheel drive. Hurricane Evo rear-wheel drive um, in the launch color. Yeah, this is cool. This, this is. I'd say this is alright. Urus, yellow Urus. Anybody? <laughs> you got options. I quite like the green L bath up there too. It's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. We're going this way somewhere. I hopped out just while we're kind of parking up the G63, which is quite funny to see pulling the gigantic trailer. But this is exactly what this car was for. Like I said earlier, using it finally for the reason for which this was added to the garage. The G63 to tow this, which is currently empty, but tomorrow we'll have something epic inside it. And yes. It is real, it is happening. This is a very exciting time, right at the point of reaching 2 million subscribers. Of course, that hasn't actually, at the time I'm filming this, happened, but I think it should be happening about now, which is crazy. And again, a huge thanks to all of you. But we've made it. Again, awesome for Tony to join. Yeah, exciting times. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned. This is coming up very, very soon. Cheers.